All right, I am here with the beautiful Natalie Mars. Hello. Natalie, I know you hear this all the time, but your eyes are just like captivating. They're so incredible. Thank you. Do you get, you <laughs> yeah, get sick hear, of people I, I hear that saying lot, that? You're like, shut up about old. my no. eyes. It's always nice to hear. My God, I'm so sick of hearing about my so beautiful sick eyes. Of it. Stop telling me how pretty I am. Oh, God. <laughs> so I know, it's so annoying, right? So annoying. It happens to me all the time. I'm like, stop it. Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> so you are, so we're in the middle of award season. Yeah. Um, and you just. Cleaned up at Expos, right? You got yeah, a couple yeah. of cool awards. What did you win? I won um, Trans Performer of the Year. Fantastic! And, uh, I won Trans Movie of the Year for my uh, Trans Fix Showcase, actually. So here adult but time. with adult time. <laughs> adult time. Oh my God, amazing! Yeah. Were you? Expecting that, I guess no one's ever gonna be like, yeah, I totally knew I was gonna win. But um, like, were you really shocked or? I, I, I had some inkling that I might yeah. win this year. Um, the Transformer of the Year, I thought, you know, I had a good shot at it. Yeah. I, I kind of forgot that the showcase was even nominated, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, so it won, actually. Um, so, and I was backstage, like, accepting it, doing photos and stuff, and then they announced, like, Transformer of the Year. So, basically, I won that one, just came back out. And, yeah. <laughs> like, came back out on stage from backstage. Oh my god, that's amazing. The other one. I just drooled at myself, it's sorry. Good. It happens. I was so excited <laughs> about your win that I was just like slobbering. I was like, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the movie Transfix. Like, it's a showcase. Yeah. So is it just a collection of vignette scenes of you with different people? Uh, yeah, so the Transfix series uh, featured trans girls with uh, cis women primarily. Um, and it, it, you know, it was uh, unlike a lot of trans porn, not to shit on anybody else, yeah. but like it was very cinematic and like, uh, you know, definitely a lot of story. Mm -hmm. And um, it wasn't just about like fetishizing yeah, no, a trans no, performer, no, not it was at all. more. Yeah, about... it was more like just uh, like lesbian sex, you know? Yeah, I like, mean, like, like yeah. almost like a real. Yeah, just like girl, girl sex, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, and so each one was like a different kind of a yeah, plot story like in one I'm like uh, the boss lady and then another one I'm me and uh, my scene partner were uh, like uh, film and movies kind of oh and, how cool yeah we did, we did a few different things like that one I was sort of like almost like a dominatrix and, yeah yeah was there one that was your favorite I really liked the uh, she's the boss the boss one where I'm in the like red suit I'm just it was sort of based on uh, the devil wears Prada so okay. I'm like this like I'm sort of this like bitchy demanding boss yeah and, um I'm just like kind of my scene partner, Kenna James, uh, who she was like my oh secretary. My, I was going to say, who <laughs> plays such a great innocence yeah, kind exactly. of yeah. intern. She was yeah, she was so good at that. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm just like bossing her around. And then in the end, it's like, oh, we have like, it, it's kind of revealed at the, through the end of the scene that we have like a sexual dynamic as well. Right. And then we have sex. Oh my God. <laughs> Sex, um, in terms of like scene wise, like performance wise, which one, which scene do you think might have been the uh, best? Honestly, I, I, that one. That, that one? Was, that was my favorite. It was just the most fun character to play. Yeah. Um, I liked the, the dominatrix one too with, um, uh, why, why is her name slipping my mind? Kendra? No. Fuck. Sorry. I'll, <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't matter. I love her. She's like so cute, beautiful, and I, I'm, there's a like lot blanking. of it's I know it's ABN yeah. all our brains are fried <laughs> I'm just blanking right now yeah I get it I get it so do you like to play more dominant roles because um, it sounds to me like the two well, scenes that you in, like the most in general I am more of a submissive okay. like in my personal life I'm a lot more submissive pa sexually passive like I prefer to be penetrated over penetrating someone right. else but um, it's fun sometimes to kind of play a character you know that it's not me yeah, it's, it's it's kind of fun to get to be a different person for a little bit. And right. Yeah. So it's it's enjoyable, and I do. You know, it's like I have a little bit of a dominant side. So mm -hmm. when it when I'm able to unleash it, it's, it's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> do you kind of have to like psych yourself out for that? Do you like talk yourself into becoming that dom, or no? I can kind of just turn it. You on. can just turn you it just on. Turn it on. Have you always been like that, or no. like? Did you, has acting, has your acting flourished since being in the adult industry, or did you ever do, like, theater or anything like that no, before? No, it's certainly, like, 
I had never done any acting before I got into the industry, so it's it's all been a learning experience. And I, you know, I've definitely improved, yeah. you know, from when I started versus now. Like, I'm not going to say I'm like a great actress or anything, but like, yeah, yeah, like there's been improvement for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I am a terrible actress. And it's funny because I will sometimes put myself as an extra in a scene just because I don't want to pay an extra. And not only am I a really bad actress, but I can't remember the lines for the script that I wrote. Yeah, so that's the hardest part, honestly, is, like, memorizing the lines. Yeah. It's, yeah, that, that could be the hardest part. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, AVN is tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. What are you nominated for, and what are you most excited for? Well, I'm nominated for Trans Performer of the Year. Fantastic. And um, my, that showcase, the Trans Fix Showcase, is also nominated for Trans Movie of the Year. So maybe it'll win both. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be really cool. Yeah. Have you, like, picked out a cabinet where you're going to put all oh, your God. I mean, awards I, in? I, I, I have quite a few awards at this point, and they're sort of just, like, scattered around on different shelves. Yeah. I, I need to actually, like... You need to consolidate like, it all into one big to, showcase. I need to get a trophy cabinet. Like, it's getting to be so many. Oh, God, it's terrible. <laughs> There's just so many. Where, where are you going to put them? Where so put many them. awards. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but so, I mean, I'm excited. I Obviously, I, I hope I win. Yeah. But, I, you know, fingers crossed. We'll see. I'm not like... 100% sure. Yeah, you know. I guess nobody ever you really know, you is. Know. And you, you don't know. want to be like, I'm definitely going to win. And right. then you don't. <laughs> right. It's like, how embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> I first interviewed you last year at the TEA Awards, mm -hmm. and you were up for a Trans Performer of the Year uh -huh. there, too. Yeah. they Their categories are a little more, like, like broken down into, like, right. hardcore performer of the year, like, solo model. What did you win? I won, I think last year I actually won, I won hardcore and solo yeah. I won both of those and I won um, so the many vids had like a sponsored award just model of yeah. the year or something like that yeah. so I won all three of those I think I definitely won hardcore and model of the year I don't remember if I won solo but I might have <laughs> I wanted it. I wanted it at some point. I don't know if it was last year or not. <laughs> yeah, I remember that, and I remember honestly of everybody else that I interviewed you interviewed. Everyone said that they were most excited for you, oh. and they were most excited to see you, and they were rooting for you the most. So you've definitely like. I mean, obviously you have a large fan base just in terms of, yeah. you know, porn consumers and your audience, but it also seems that other people in the industry are really, like, rooting for you and really, yeah, it, like, coming around yeah, to you. And it, it feels that way. Like, I, I definitely feel a lot of love from industry people and, like, other performers and directors. And, yeah, everybody is so nice to me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. I mean... I don't know what I did to deserve this. <laughs> but thank you, everyone, for being so kind and supportive. What is one of the things about the adult industry that maybe surprised you the most when you came in? Like one misconception that you had or one thing that you'd heard and then you um, came into the adult industry and you're like, wow, that is not yeah. true at all. Yeah, well, honestly, something that really did surprise me when I got into it was sort of how... This is going to be a little negative, maybe, but how segregated it is. Like, yeah. how, like, you know, the trans performers are here and the mainstream performers are here and, like, gay is over here. And, like, if you cross over at all, especially male performers, like, if you do any crossover, like, it's very, like, it's very frowned upon. Right. Especially from, you know, quote unquote straight male performers. Yeah. If they work with, like, trans women, then, yeah. like, there's kind of, like, a stigma attached yeah. to it. And it used to be more that way too with the, um, the female models but they've had a little more it's gotten a little better with them like they yeah. can work with trans girls more without like it ruining their career I yeah. guess or being blacklisted or whatever yeah. but I still hear a lot of um, certain people perpetuating that like yes. don't work with trans women like yes. certain agents who shall go unnamed yes. you're an asshole <laughs> <laughs> I think I know who you're talking about uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah it's, it's I mean I've been in the industry a long time, and it's changed yeah. so much. I mean, yeah. there was definitely, like, a, like no one worked with trans performers yeah, exactly. before. Like, it, 10 years ago. Yeah, no, never I mean, did. from what I hear from, you know, uh, trans women who have been in the industry way longer than me, like, it's gotten so much better. Yeah. Even since I got in it, like, a few years ago, it's gotten better. Just over yeah. the last couple of years, like, it's it's becoming more inclusive. And, right. And people, there's 
the stigma seems to be fading a bit, but like I said, there are still certain people that seem to want to like keep the stigma alive. Yeah. Keep keep on. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Ah. It's just, yeah. I mean, it's just like kind of one of those inevitable things, like change happens, but right. it generally happens kind of yeah. slowish. This is faster, but I yeah. agree with you. It's something that yeah. there's like, a, there's definitely improvements yeah. Yeah. to be our, made. And our tests are just as good as anyone else's. If yeah. my test is clean, like what's the difference? Yeah. yeah. And the thing is too, you know, there's always the argument as well. Like you don't know what anybody does in their well, private exactly. life. Like off camera, like a lot of these quote unquote straight male performers are like gay escorting and shit. Right. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, you don't know what people are doing. Right. And not just obviously there's nothing wrong with that but it's like if that's what if you're that's gonna what hold people accountable yeah, exactly. for exactly like yeah you don't know what people are doing off camera right so it's just ridiculous in my yeah opinion. anyway yeah. yeah that's definitely my my biggest that what surprised me the most right. I thought porn would be a little more like oh everyone's so sexually like liberated right. and like I mean yeah. yeah it's like oh wow a lot of these people are still like homophobic and transphobic <laughs> yeah I mean those societal boundaries definitely still mm-hmm. exist in yeah, porn a little bit sure. but sure. You know, we're we're all changing. Society's changing. I think also too. You know, the audience is now recognizing that they can, you know, enjoy yeah. different kinds of porn, right. and so that's that's kind of opening yeah, up for sure. I think a lot a lot of people are coming around to being a little more open about enjoying like trans porn, yeah, and things like that. So yeah, it's it's getting better. But yeah. We're not there yet, but we're no. getting there. But it's really great. People like you are on the cusp of that wave, that wave of change. And so, I mean, you're like, you guys are kind of spearheading that whole revolution. So Doing our best. how fucking great is that? It's awesome. You Feels know? Good. Feels good to like be part of change, change yeah. and improving things. So, yeah. 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 Well, thank you so much, Natalie. No it was such a pleasure. I know I have to let you go yeah. and let you go sign because yeah. you have a lot of fans who want to meet you. I know. There was one thing I wanted to talk about real yes. quick. Um, so on kind of that topic of the, the the industry being very, like, you know, like, segregated. Right. Uh, I just, uh, uh, like, last month, I went and shot for legal porno, mm-hmm. which is generally a, they only shoot cis girls. Right. But they shot, I'm the first trans woman they shot, and the scene that we did is one of their all-time bestsellers already. So... I'm just saying, put trans women in your porn. That's it'll sell. So cool. Oh my God. What a wonderfully validating thing to hear. Exactly. Yeah, you know, it's funny, you know, as you as an industry, you think you know what your audience wants, but you don't. And the thing yeah. about porn is that because it's accessed, you know, normally by people in a kind of anonymous way, yeah. it's interesting how you can see right. what people want. As opposed to like what they what maybe they say, say they what they want. They want exactly, but the numbers don't lie. Exactly, <laughs> it's, what they really want is reflected in the sales, no, not in sure. what people are willing exactly. to admit. Not what, not what all the negative comments say. Yes, like you always have all the all the loudest, most negative people are in the comment section, being like, yeah. "Oh, this is fucking gay. What is this bullshit?" You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But then like the numbers don't yeah. lie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all the quiet people that are buying yeah, it. Yeah, they're like just and master- those, enjoying it and masturbating to it. And, and those are the voices that we should listen to. I agree. Natalie, thank you so much. Can you tell thank everybody you. where they can find you on social media? Um, you can find me on Twitter at the Natalie Mars and on Instagram at the dot Natalie dot Mars. Um, and then my OnlyFans is just OnlyFans.com slash Natalie Mars. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Best of luck tomorrow at the awards. Um, I hope you win. Thank you so much. And um, I'm not going, but I'll be watching on social media. I'll be rooting for you. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.